What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFollows.com recapping the news and we got a lot to talk about in this video, some exciting stuff. And before I give you some of the highlights, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Also, let's see if we can get this video to 1000 likes. Now, the highlight for this video would be the return of the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray in 2021. As well, there is info on the Air Jordan 11 Adapt, the Air Jordan 4 Lightning, and the Air Jordan 5 Oreo is making a return next year. Now, there's more from Jordan brand, a good amount from Nike, and one thing from Adidas. And now, without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Quick heads up on the Pharrell Adidas NMD HU in black and white. Adidas has announced a release date and the pair will debut on November 19th via the confirmed app and adidas.com. The retail price will be 220. Now I do know there's additional colorways so I'll make sure to update you guys on those. We have a new release date for the Nike Kobe 5 Pro Tro, Bruce Lee and alternate Bruce Lee. Now the two were initially scheduled to release on November 27th, however, the date has been moved forward and they will now drop on November 24th. That is for both of them and the retail price will be 180. We got another release date and it's for the Cactus Plant Flea Market Nike Dunk Low. Now there's two colorways, but currently we only have a release date for one, which is the Pure Platinum pair. It also comes covered in Swarovski crystals and will release on November 18th at select retailers and Nike.com. Now on the same day, there is a pullover hoodie and that will be exclusively available at CactusPlantFleaMarket.com. The retail price will be 120. Months and months back, information came out on the Nike Dunk Low free 99 pack. Now we have a little bit more information, not too much, but I did want to showcase it. And one pair will come dressed in black, dark chocolate, copa, and pink foam, while the second features white, light chocolate, and Roma green. Now the image used is a Photoshop. However, like I mentioned prior on these shoes, I believe that it possibly could be accurate just because how crazy the look is. And I know the individual who leaked it, PY Rates, he at times gets some stuff right, well, he gets the release dates right, but the mock-ups, sometimes they're for just visual purposes, sometimes he is on point on what's releasing. So, it's kind of up in the air for now, but they are expected to release January 2021, and the retail price will be 120 each. After I broke the news on a release date change for the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro Grinch, we have a first look. Now, this is a sample now the images comes from DNA show that's his name on YouTube but also he goes by DJ underscore sneakerhead on Instagram now according to him on the sample tag it says for spring 2021 however as I mentioned the release has been pushed forward so it will actually drop on December 24th Christmas Eve now I believe that this sample was made earlier in the year I don't know the specific month but they are definitely coming. So this is our first look, like I mentioned. I'm definitely happy with them. I hope I'm able to get a pair as well as you guys, but the release date is December 24th and the retail price will be 180. As for releases, shock drops, stuff like that, this week has been hectic. We have the new Xbox and PlayStation. There was a few pairs of shoes that were also available, but yesterday there was rumors going around that a potential release of the Travis Scott PlayStation Nike Dunk Low would take place. Now, some people are calling it a shock drop. I don't really like to call it that even though technically it is. I usually like to associate that with Nike. And if you went to Travis Scott's website, there was a splash page which you would enter your email and they would update you. And then later on in the evening on Travis Scott's YouTube channel, he actually premiered what was being called the TS5 event. Basically that event had a little bit of music. It also showcased the PlayStation 5. But after the event, you were able to enter your details in for a chance to win a free pair. Now the reason why I'm including it, well I would have included it either way, but obviously the new images, but more importantly is that you're still able to enter if you haven't. So this isn't like a traditional raffle, you'll enter all your information and if you win, you get the shoes for free, you don't actually have to pay for them. 
Now that's the good news, but the bad news is actually getting a pair will be very, very difficult. Now there's only going to be five pairs, so that means five winners. And the entry period is November 12th, which was yesterday, through November 13th, so that being today. So if you haven't got a chance to enter, I will put a link in the description below, which will take you right there. All you got to do is fill out your address, your email, stuff like that. And the way you know if you're going to win is if you get an email. So if you don't get one, that means you didn't win. And here's an important part that you guys need to remember, and I'll explain a little bit why after. In the event you are selected to be gifted a pair of the Nike Dunk Low Cactus Jack PlayStation, you will be contacted via email by Nike, Sneakers, and Cactus Jack representatives within 14 business days from the date of entry to facilitate the gifting experience. So 14 days is a long time, so just make sure if you do enter to check your emails, even check your spam because the initial email I got from Travis Scott went to my spam account so I had to put it in my regular inbox and hopefully that won't be the case going forward. It isn't known if a wider release will take place but if any more information becomes available I'll make sure to let you guys know and let me know in the comments section below your thoughts on this pair. Moving on to Jordan brand and we have a new Air Jordan 1 mid that will be releasing during fall or winter 2020. So the pair is being called Signal Blue, and it comes dressed in a simple and clean Signal Blue, white, and black colorway. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really like this pair. I like the fact that it has black outlining the trim of the overlays. As well, it has some blue stitching on the swoosh. I think overall, the color blocking is done very nicely. I know not everybody likes mids or lows, but they've definitely grown as far as popularity goes. And although there isn't a release date, like I mentioned, later fall or winter 2020, and the retail price will be 125. Also coming soon is the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort Summit White. Now the pair features a Summit White, Black, Cell, Light or Wood Brown, and White colorway. As you can see, it's very, very simple something I personally wouldn't wear during the winter. That's just my opinion, of course. And just to briefly go over the shoes, it basically features light shades on the upper as well as the midsole and outsole. And then we have black on the swoosh, laces, insoles, and ankle. Also the swoosh, it's actually cut out on the side. So the material on the inside of the shoe, it's popping out a bit. Now this is a women's release and it'll take place on December 1st. And the retail price will be 140. We have new images of the Air Jordan 9 University Blue. Now the images shown is actually in grade school sizing. However, when they release, they will be available in full family sizing. So all the way up to adults, down to toddler. And the pair somewhat resembles the Orlando Magic PE. That shoe was worn by Nick Anderson and Penny Hardaway. And of course, this pair, there is some differences. One of the biggest differences is the 2-3 on the hill. It's actually outlined instead of filled in like the player exclusive would be. But if you're interested in purchasing, they release on December 5th and the retail price will be 190 As I'm sure all of you guys already know, Jordan brand not only officially unveiled the Air Jordan 11 Jubilee, aka 25th anniversary, a shock drop went down just before the live event took place. Now, for those that don't know what Jubilee is, it's a special anniversary of an event, especially one celebrating 25 or 50 years. And I'm going to read from a little bit of the information they provided, so it may fill you in a bit more on why the shoe looks like this, all that stuff. It reads, inspired by original sketches of the Air Jordan 11, the 25th anniversary interpretation of the model incorporates a metallic silver Jumpman logo and Jordan on the eyelets. The hill has an embroidered silver 2-3 with printed 25 on the insoles to celebrate 25 years of greatness. On the tongue is a special stitch Jumpman and Jordan tag. The Jumpman himself wore the Air Jordan 11 in 1995 after returning from his first retirement, the Air Jordan 11 Jubilee celebrates the birth of a cultural icon and one of the most beloved sneakers in basketball history. The moment is punctuated by silver accents and detailing. The medal is the symbol of a Jubilee anniversary, which shines across an all black mesh and genuine patent leather upper. Now, I've already been getting a lot of questions about this. Even though a shock drop did take place, there's going to be a wider release that will take place on December 12th. 
pretty much every retailer that has a Jordan brand account will have them. And what I was told is this pair might be the most produced to date. With that being said, if you can wait, don't pay resale for them. In my opinion, if you really try hard enough, you'll be able to get a pair. I also believe that they are eventually going to sell out. Certain sizes will definitely sell out right away. And then you got to figure that there's going to be multiple restocks down the road. Also, they will be available in full family sizing. Retail price for adult sizing is 220. Grade school will cost 180. Preschool will cost 95 and toddler will retail at 75. If you were able to hit on the shock drop, let me know down below. I was not able to hit, but I'm okay with that. I honestly don't want them that much. I mean, they're clean, they're okay, but for me, it's not a must have. We have another older retro set to make a return in 2021. This time it's going to be the Air Jordan 5 Oreo. Now, when news broke earlier yesterday, I saw a ton of people asking the question why. So obviously they're not a fan of the shoes. In my opinion, they're okay. I definitely think there's a lot of other shoes they could bring back besides this one and not to offend anybody that's a fan of them. I just think that the Air Jordan 12 Cherry should make a return. We could just throw that out there. Even the Air Jordan 4 Fear, that would be perfectly fine. But if you're a fan of this pair, then you'll be happy to know that they are returning. And the images used is the 2013 release, not the 2021. And the rumor is that they're pretty much going to look like this. Now, if this is something you would like to pick up, they release on July 24th for 190. We have new information on the Air Jordan 4 Lightning. Now, when I previously went over the shoe, I was stating that it was a rumor just because at that time, the colorway had multicolor placed in it. And I believe that that was to throw off people who leak information, but apparently all that has been updated. So what we have left is the exact colorway for the Air Jordan 4 Lightning. Also from Z Sneakerhead Z sources, what he told me is that the pair is a go for 2021. It's going to look just like it did in 2006. Also, it's going to come with a special box. Now, the original release, it was available with a t-shirt. I don't think that's going to be the case for 2021, but you never know. And when they do release, they will be available in men's and grade school sizing. Now, onto the second part, we have a release date. Currently, they are scheduled for August 7th. Now, there's a ton of time from now until then, so anything could happen. The date could be pushed forward or back, and the retail price will be 100 and 90. Now, I would like to ask you guys what your thoughts on the pair returning. I know a lot of you are already happy, so if you want to chime in, let me know in the comment section below. Not only did Jordan Brand unveil the Air Jordan 11 Jubilee, aka 25th anniversary, they also unveiled the Air Jordan 11 Adapt. So, this will be Jordan Brand's first self lacing shoe, which uses Nike's Adapt technology. Now, I'm going to read from their press release just because, again, it has more information and there is a little bit of text, so I wanted to fill you guys in on that. And it reads, 25 years after original sketches of Tinker Hatfield's Air Jordan 11 design illuminated his intent to make a laceless shoe, Jordan Brand incorporates Nike Adapt power lacing technology into one of its most iconic models while remaining complementary to the original silhouette. Where the Air Jordan 11 Jubilee celebrates the rich history of the Air Jordan 11, the Adapt iteration takes the silhouette into Jordan Brand's future, says Martin Lodi. I believe that's how you say his last name. If I mispronounced it, I apologize, but he's the Jordan Brand VP Chief Design Officer. By folding in the best of Nike technology, we've delivered on Tinker's original vision of the Air Jordan 11, while at the same time offering wears the most personalized Jumpman shoes to date. The Nike Adapt technology, which has been used on Nike Performance Basketball product as well as Nike Sportswear, breathes new life into Jordan brand innovation. Controlled by the wearer through Nike's Adapt app, the forward-looking 2020 iteration of the Air Jordan 11 provides real-time personalization and unrivaled fit and fill. Through the app, which will feature a Jordan flavor interface, users can customize the adapt buttons on the shoe's midsole by personalizing the color scheme and flashing pattern of the button's lights, making the technology an instant extension of the footwear. As far as innovation goes, I definitely like them, but the retail price I'm not too happy about. I'm sure a lot of people 
aren't happy about it as well. And that retail price is 500. And they do have a release date, which is December 30th. This will be the last Air Jordan release of 2020. And currently, sneakers will be the only place that I know that will have them. It's possible that we could see other retailers get them as well, but that's all I know of for now. And let me know your thoughts on this pair in the comment section below. Last up and easily the biggest news of the week is the return of the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray for holiday 2021. Now the image you're looking at is a Photoshop. It's just a mock-up to represent what the 2021 release may look like. As you can see, it has the higher cut patent leather. In the pair, it features Nubuck, but I'm gonna talk more about that in a moment. For those that don't know, originally this pair released in 2001, then we saw another retro in 2010, so the 2021 release would celebrate the 20th anniversary of the colorway. Now I still want to say that it's a rumor, however this information comes from Z Sneakerhead Z and Soul Heat on Feet, and the only reason I want to still lean on the side of rumor is because there's a lot of time to go and you never know, Jordan Brand could switch things up. They could decide to release something totally different, or even the color placement could be different. But for now, it definitely looks like a go. Even the colorway matches up, which is medium gray, white, and cool gray. Now, the crazy part of this is we're not even in December 2020, and we already know the 2021 holiday release, which more than likely will be in December next year. Also, it isn't known if the shoe will have new buck or if it'll have mesh. You guys might remember Earlier in the year, Jason Tatum showed off his cool gray Air Jordan 11. That pair had mesh on the upper. And it also has higher cut patent leather, so you know this was something Jordan Brand recently made for him. So even that's a possibility. To be honest, it wouldn't really matter to me what material they use on the upper. I probably would prefer New Buck just because it's like the OG, but I definitely wouldn't be mad at mesh. And like I mentioned, holiday 2021 is when they're expected to release. So we got a lot of time until then. And the retail price will be 220. Let me know your thoughts on the cool gray Air Jordan 11 returning. I know 95% of you guys will probably be happy about it. I definitely am. And as soon as more information becomes available, I'll make sure to update you guys. And that recaps the news like always we post it first on sneakerfalls.com and then we take it to YouTube. Like always I appreciate you guys for watching. Look out for another video on Monday. I'm not sure if it's going to be a news video or if I'm able to do the where to buy the Air Jordan 3 court purple video. Hopefully by then I should have enough sources to compile a list for you guys. Also, if you're not following us on Instagram, there will be a link in the description below, which will take you right over there, trying to grow the page up a bit more. So if you got a second, greatly appreciate that. And speaking of a second, if you can, and you haven't done so already, also greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.